Hi! Welcome to Sunless Sea. We're going to have a look at managing Terra. Terra can be a bit of a problem in the deep, but don't really worry about it until it gets up to about 70 or 80. Going to 60 is fine, a nightmare isn't the end of the world, and there's plenty of ways to reduce that. Um, don't be afraid also to use full power from time to time if you're getting somewhere. The chances of your engine exploding are pretty slim. But let's have a look at the basic Terra mechanics. Those little yellow dots on the map that I just pointed at, those are lights, and if you head towards those, you can just stop in there with your light on, and if you do that, you'll see your fuel goes down by about 1% a second. No matter what lamp, what boat, that's always going to be the case. Your Terra will go green, and every three seconds it'll tick down a notch. If you switch your lights off while you're in the light, uh, it won't help so much. If you're nowhere near lights, that's okay. You can hug the coast pretty much anywhere you like, and that'll do the same thing even if there's no uh, lights around. So any coast, any island. You can see it here, I'm out of range of this light, uh, and it's doing the same. Now in the shops there's a few things you can buy. In Caminus's yard uh, you can grab the Avid Suppressor for 800 uh, Echoes and that is going to um, ensure your engines never explode at full power which is a great way to dodge stuff. You can just keep hitting that button. Now that's going to chomp into your fuel usage. You'll see the fuel bar just screaming down there on the top left. But in an emergency it's a great way of getting, if your terror is more of a concern than your fuel, it's a great way of getting somewhere safe. You can also head to Polythreme. That could be anywhere. Uh, the middle of the map is basically random. But there, for only 300 echoes, uh, you can grab We Are Clay, and that will give you th uh, 250 extra engine power, 5 extra iron, which is going to allow you to hit a bit harder, and importantly your quarters will drop by 3. That means you can run with fewer uh, crew, which will make your supplies a little easier to manage. And you can sell that at any time back in London for 300, so it's actually a neutral investment as long as you've got the spare cash, and probably better than investing in an engine up front. You can also follow the Genial Magician's uh, quest, uh, and turn him into the Satisfied Magician and he'll allow you to build the Serpentine engine. Um, which isn't great and it costs 1200, you'll need about 2000 echoes in all, but that's got really good engine power and that's going to allow you to zoom, zoom around really quickly. It's got a bit of fuel efficiency too, and uh, Hearts plus 5 and Veils plus 5. Also you can stop at lighthouses pretty much anywhere, well not anywhere, there's only three. Uh, these light ships, sorry, and as long as you've got some recent news, um, you can trade that in for a reduction in terror of five. And that's good to know, and you can kind of abuse that near London if your terror is in really bad shape. Um, so not a bad thing to do. There's one there, and then one directly north, and you can just kind of ferry in between those. As long as you've got something awaits you in port, you'll pick up news in London and be able to drop it off there. It's not the cheapest or most efficient way to do it, but in an emergency it can help. What we're going to do is uh, move around the edge of the map, because that doesn't really change. We'll start with the Cumean Canal. Cumean Canal. Uh, here, as long as you've got 22 fuel, which is quite a lot really, it's going to cost you at least, what, 200 echoes and a couple of supplies, you can head up to the surface. And this is quite good, because you'll lose 25 Terra. I had less than 25 there, but you'll lose 25 Terra immediately. And in there, even if you've got more than 25, there's a bunch of ways here. Uh, to reduce your terror, and you can actually buy fuel and supplies very, very cheaply. Next, heading south again to Grand Geode. Ignore the Iron Republic. Well, I mean, stop in, but there's nothing really there to reduce your terror. At the Grand Geode, you can reduce your terror by five as long as you've got something awaits you. Uh, what is this place? But be careful. Don't do it if you've got more than 75, because there's every chance it will backfire. Well, it's actually about a 30% chance that it'll backfire and you'll gain 25 terror instead of losing 5 as well as losing a crew member, which is not ideal. So only do that when you've got sufficient crew and less than 75 terror. Next, Port Carnelian. For some reason this never uncovers on my map, but there it is there, just east of the Grand Geo. This will always be in the same place. The western and southern tiles are always in the same place. They've got cheap fuel and uh, supplies and you should always buy like a couple of sacks of coffee beans and... Um, wine, it's always good to have. Uh, but here you can get 5 Terra for 20 Echo indefinitely, so that's a really great way to manage it if you've come south. Um, and it's a cheap one too. From there, carry on east, you'll get to Adam's Way. Uh, they've got cheap fuel and supplies as well. And from there, you can go to King Eater's Castle. So this is not a bad way to get to the southeast of the map and explore that whole southeast quadrant. Fuel is only 12, supplies are only 25, so it's only marginally more than it's going to cost you in London. Um, and as long as you've got some news or a Mount Palmerston uh, report or an unread log, uh, you can pop in here and activate the tree. 
Now you can go in here to the exhibition of presbyt pres I can never say that word presbyterate <laughs> curiosities. I'm sorry. And for one echo, once you get in there, uh, grant your crew short leave, uh, and you can do that again and again and again. And for 20 echo, you'll lose 10 terror. And you can keep doing that. It will advance the tree one time each day, so you can only do it four times each visit. But that's not the end of the world. From there, King Eater's Castle. You can head east all the way over here. And if you've got more than 50 Terra, I've got 51 there, I had to sit around and push it up a bit just to do it. But for one supply and one fuel, it'll knock 25 Terra off you, which is a great way to be able to explore quite deeply into the south um, and then come back here. Because you can always refuel at Adam's uh, way back there and resupply as long as you've got a bit of cash. So if you want to break into the south, that's not a bad way to do it. Carrying on up north uh, from the King Eater's Castle, the Chelinate. Now this eastern quadrant here, or eastern, uh, sorry, column, uh, they'll be in a sort of random order, but the Chelinate will be up there somewhere. The other three aren't worth stopping at for terror reduction, but surely at the Chelinate, as long as you've got good iron, and if you don't, you'll lose a crew, uh, but you'll lose 15 terror for 30 echo. Um, but make sure you've got plenty of crew if you're trying that. You'll still lose one terror even if you fail, but you will lose a crew, and that's going to suck. Carrying on up to Irem, remember I mentioned you always want to have a couple of coffees and a couple of wines on you because you never know what you're going to need at port. Here you need a sack of dark drop coffee beans, but then you can visit the House of the Amber Sky. And again, as long as you've got something awaits you, uh, rest, recover and dream. There we go. Uh, and you'll get 20 terror reduction, which is really strong if you've come all the way up that east side. You're probably quite terrified by then. Now the northern section as well, the north uh, row, will swap around, uh, so they could be in any old order. But take tea with squatters at the dock, um, and as long as you've got something awaits you, uh, you'll lose 10 terra, gain 1 fuel, and gain 1 supply, which is a really nice bonus. I would recommend against going into Frostfound until you know a reason to go in there. From there carry on east, uh, sorry, west, <laughs> to Wither, that's all in the northwest uh, tile, and that's always going to be there. Surely even wither, as long as you've got more than 34 veils, you'll be successful every time. If you're not, you'll lose one crew, so be careful. But you'll lose five terror for 50 echoes. That's another great way to manage it. Uh, Ten per terror. Vendabite's got a couple of options. In the tomb colony of Vendabite, a dusty glass of wine, uh, 50 echo, will lose you five terror. Again, 10 for one. And you can keep doing that. Um, so as long as you've got the echoes, you can do it indefinitely. If you've got the Vengeance of Jonah unlocked, uh, you can sample today's special. There we go. And as long as you're lucky, uh, which I wasn't there, <laughs> you'll lose some echoes, uh, lose some terror for some echoes. There we are, five for 60. So that works out at, what, 11 per. And there's lots of bats around there as well. If you're high on supplies, dispose of the corpses and you'll lose one terror for each one. Now, back in London, uh, make sure you've got something awaits you and collect messages from the harbour master when you get in. Um, and in your lodgings, what you want to do is try and get a kid. Uh, carousing in Wolfstack Docks, the option's gone for me, but that's under the London heading. Do that and meet a sweetheart. Uh, meet her a couple of times and you'll get a random event out at sea which will eventually allow you to have a child. Uh, then you can go and visit your child in your lodgings. And giving them anything before they're a scion will reduce your terror by 20. There's a whole bunch of options. Um, and even after you've done that, you can pop in and see them anytime and lose another 20 terror. The kid is an amazing option all the time. Now, resting in your elegant townhouse will cost 100 echoes, and it's an expensive way to reduce terror, but if you're managing to afford uh, lodgings, you're probably okay for cash. The, t -t 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 the Tattooist is a great one-time shot as well to reduce 25 terror and gain two skill points. We'll talk a little bit about Hunter's Keep while we're here around London. Um, it's very tempting to take lunch with the sisters Lucy because that reduces your terror by 10, but you can only do this a few times before something changes. I would honestly go for the top one, um, Phoebe? Cynthia, sorry, because as, as long as you've done that once, uh, you'll gain Salt's attention and then gain an iron as well, which is really useful and it's probably a better solution. As we've seen, there's a lot of ways to mitigate terror other than that. The rest of these are all going to be randomly located, so we'll do them in alphabetical order. Uh, Abbey Rock. Uh, there's a couple of things you can do here. One is not so good, uh, the other is better. Offer a gift will reduce Terra. You'll need a hunting trophy, but I'll show you how to get one of those pretty easily, even with the basic boat. You'll lose 10 Terra for handing in one of those, so again, a great way to reduce Terra. Uh, you can also drop off news. 
uh, perhaps they'll find it valuable, but that will only drop two Terra and give you nothing else. And as we've seen, the lighthouses, or the light ships rather, uh, around London will give you five Terra reduction, so I would save your news for those, or indeed use them down at Adam's Way to be able to get in to see the Curiosities guy. If you need a hunting trophy, here I've just started off a brand new ship. Uh, I'm a stranger, so I've got 25 of every skill. Uh, the Phosgene Bleaks tend to be immediately east of London, and there's usually a Western Angler Crab kicking around there. Um, what you want to do is get up to him and just keep him right at the very edge of your weapon range. It'll take him a few goes and then just to start backing up. It'll take him a few goes to notice you and he'll come towards you, but as you see, he's pretty slow, and as long as you keep him at the edge there, um, he's probably not going to close in until he gets fairly close. Uh, he might go underwater a few times, don't worry about that, just make sure he stays within range. Eventually he'll get bored and turn around. Um, don't do what I did and go towards him, because what will probably happen is he'll turn around and try and eat your face. But you'll see, even if he's at that distance there, when he charges, as long as you're backing up, you're going to be absolutely fine. And this is the basic weapon, I'm only doing 10 to 14 damage, 25 iron, but he won't reach you. And you should be able to kill them without taking any damage every time, as long as you come in slowly. Choose the dissection option and you'll get that hunting trophy. And you can just go farm those crabs more or less indefinitely. And that gives you a really strong way to maintain terror. Next up to Mo Island. Again, it could be anywhere in the map, um, but it's usually in the second column here somewhere. Um, once there, there's a uh, uh, strategic information quest there, but have tea with the factor. This will unlock the House of Jenner up in Vendabite as well, but you'll lose two terror for free and gain one supplies. And you can always just sit there with your lights off and your engine off um, for a minute, waiting for your uh, something awaits you to come back up. And then just keep doing that. Next up, Gator's Morn. Uh, you can drop in here. There's a few things to do here. Um, first up, what am I going to click there? An evening at the Arant Limpet. Unlocked when something awaits you. Uh, for 50 Echo, uh, if you fail, you'll only lose one terror. Um, but if you succeed, well, if you fail, uh, you'll also end up with a Contraton with Corsairs, which could be pretty messy. Um, so careful there. But if you succeed, you'll lose, I think, three or four Terra. The other thing you can do is explore the Morn, and there's a small chance that you'll get the view from above. You can click your Sweetheart, which will reduce your Terra by 20. Uh, or maybe 10, sorry. I only lost 7 because I didn't have enough. But actually, if you get that, I would argue, unless your Terra is really, really bad, um, I would pick almost any of the other options, especially one of the god ones, because that's going to give you a pretty significant boost in stats. Two hearts and two mirrors for this one, as you can see. You'll gain one Terra, but arguably it's a better choice than just losing Terra, because it's so rare. It's worth taking. Next up, the Salt Lions. They're almost always in the second or third column. Um, and as long as you've got something awaits you here, you can just visit the Unmakers and you'll lose 5 Terra every time. The Salt Lines are great to find as well because there's a really good trading route there. You can make 300 on a run from there to London. Tied in with some other stops and you can come in with a bunch of port reports to uh, cover the fuel costs too. Shepherd Isles, uh, that's there. Um, when you're here, oh, I'm zooming around all over the place, pop into Shepherd Isles and have a picnic at the Standing Stones. And for just 5 Echo, you'll lose 3 Terra and there's a small chance you'll gain an ambiguous Eolith as well which is always nice. You can go and sell those to the uh, scholar in London. Finally, uh, the Mangrove College in the Melting Isles. Again, this could be anywhere on the map. Um, it's generally in the southern half, but it could pop up anywhere. Now here, this is a really good one. Again, as long as you've got something awaits you, eat, drink, and be merry. Um, there you go, something awaits you there. And that will give you 10 terror and remove your hunger. Um, so again, a great way when you're deep in the field to manage that. Well, that's about it for now. Uh, on the left is the Serpentine and the Genial Magician. Um, if you're looking on mobile or you don't have annotations, check the description for links or just go to my channel. Click on the little uh, spork icon on the top right and uh, look for the playlists. On the right is uh, how to start the game off. That'll get you 2,500 echoes in a couple of hours. Uh, pretty effectively. It's not a bad way to do it. Anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.